Hi there, this is Alvin with Kickstart Commerce, and in today's tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to use um, a local version of uh, WordPress and how you can actually um, enable like updates so that you can actually update your themes, um, add plugins when you are using localhost. Um, a localhost version of WordPress, and so I'm using um, I'm using MAMP, um, and you can use ZAMP as well. You can go to ApacheFriends.org, and it should give you um, a list of options there. Whether you can use Windows, and pretty much what you're doing is is nothing more than just an Apache um, web server or LAMP environment. So your uh, Linux, Apache, uh, MySQL, PHP, which those are are uh, just basic uh, that's the basic stack in terms of um, installing WordPress on so I'm going to use um, the kickstart commerce uh, website the test website here or, or rather actually not the test website but I'm using a localhost version sorry of WordPress and I'm already logged in and so I'm using the localhost WordPress so when I go to try to um, update so like I'm using an older version of WordPress and it wants me to update to version 4.7.5 uh, 4 and so when I click uh, please update then you'll see because I'm using a local um, a local host version then what you find is that this local host version it allows me to update now the reason why it allows me to update is because here, um, actually, when I click update, it shouldn't, it should, yeah, there we go. So it should only allow you to uh, enter in your host name, your FTP username, FTP password. So a lot of times what happens is typically the upgrade will go ahead and start when, um, you know, you have access to the, the internet or rather uh, um, a place that will basically allow for overwriting or a place to dump the files if you will so nevertheless what you can do um, I'm opening sublime you can open sublime and go to wp-config.php you'll open up that config.php and then this is the line of code so line 24 you'll need to define basically this fs underscore method and set it to direct um, which will basically, you know, allow um, for localhost to be used in terms of updating and being able to go out to the web, download, um, you know, the necessary, the latest WordPress update or the plugin updates. So once you do that, you'll pre you'll um, put that in there, put this line 21 in there, just as I have it highlighted, and then you'll go back into WordPress. And what we will do is go back to the dashboard go to updates and then um, we'll just go ahead and use the plugin as an example so now because I have that that listed in there now you can see that it actually goes through and it tries to unpack an update um, but it does not have the ability uh, to create the directory that's needed and that's likely because we don't have the necessary um, permissions and so um, you'll have to be able to set your permissions and I'll just go ahead and try this uh, just to see should it download and actually update and so what it's doing is going out to the downloads.wordpress.org site to grab the version 4.7.5 and it's grabbing that zip file rather downloading it and then what it will do is unzip that zip file begin to go through the update so we'll give it um, a couple of minutes here to see uh, what it will do um, typically when you have the right permissions what it should do is uh, download that zip unzip it and then go ahead and update your WordPress and so likely during this time what's um, you know ultimately what's going on here that should so if we refresh this page right here it should say that WordPress is like in a in a maintenance mode of some sort and to check back 
So yeah, it's still going. So perfect. So the installation failed. Why? Because when it was unpacking the update, it could not create that directory. That's because that directory does not have um, the necessary right. So you'll have to go in and set the um, the rights. And so let's see if we can go in and set the rights to this. Um, let's see here. We will ch mode. So chmod. And then what we will do is tell it to um, the directory that we're in, at least in this one for me, is the DN directory. And we want to put recursive on. Um, it says that it's an invalid directory. So let's list these directories and see, do we have a DN? We do have a DN. CHMO. So let's see here. Uh -uh. There we go. And I think. Ah, I see what, what the issue is. I actually got these all out of sorts here. It's should be negative R to um, add recursive capabilities there. And so there you can see it's basically telling me it's unable to change um, that file mode operation. So because it's not permitted. So typically what I'll go ahead and do is try, try to sudo and see if we can just override and see what it says. It probably will give me, so obviously it's going to ask me for a password and then, all right, we've, we over <coughs> rode, um, excuse me, um, those settings. So if we go back and let's try the plugin first, we'll update the plugin um, and it'll go out and there, voila, you can see we, uh, actually successfully updated that plugin. So then we'll go back in little by little. Let's go ahead and update our theme. And it says it may take a little while and it updated. And then finally, let's go ahead and update WordPress. And so it'll go back out. It'll go and download. <coughs> excuse me, the 4.7.5 version, download that zip, unpack the zip, update the version of WordPress, and then we should be well on our way. So we'll give it a couple of minutes here. And so that's that's one way of doing it so that um, if you're in a, if you're using a local host, so if your URL is localhost um, slash, and then you just have the WordPress directory, uh, I mean, the WordPress um, application installed within your root directory of your local host, then that keeps you from having to go out to the internet and actually download all of the plugins that you'll need or updates that you'll need um, if, if you have internet access. So like I'm running this from my laptop and uh, running local host, running WordPress. And so I wanted to be able to go out to the net, grab just like, a normal web server, a normal public facing web server um, would do using WordPress. And so you can see now it's unpacking the update here. And so momentarily we should hopefully see a success message um, is what I'm hoping for. We'll know here in a moment. So it's verifying the package, preparing to install. It, it enables maintenance mode copied the required files, it disables maintenance mode, and we are now upgraded to WordPress 4.75. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email or feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, if you're sending me an email, send it over to info at kickstartcommerce.com. Um, feel free to also subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as just come and visit us at Kickstart. Uh, commerce.com and receive the latest search marketing and domain investing um, ideas to grow your business. 
Um, that's it until the next tutorial. Thanks. See you around.